welcome to coding tips today we are going to learn about sorting mechanisms so first of all what is sorting arranging the given numbers in a increasing or decreasing manner is called as sorting so one of the easiest way is to sort using bubble sort there are different other techniques first we'll go with the bubble sort let us take with an example in the next slide In the screen, you can see that the example is five, one, four, two, eight. So the technique used in the bubble sort is first, in the first pass, we have to compare the first two elements, five and one. So five is greater than one, hence shift the elements. Like one is shifted to first position and five is shifted to the second position. In the second time, in five we have to compare five and four. Five is greater than four, true. Hence four and five. Are swapped with each other. Next, five is greater than two. Yes, two and five are swapped with each other. Let me take an example with a laser pointer. Yeah, two and five are swapped here. And now the next comparison is five with eight. Five is greater than eight, which is false. Hence, there is no swap needed. You can see after first pass. The output is one four two five eight. Okay. In the example, uh, the num the numbers that we have taken, the maximum number is eight. So we can say that after the first pass in bubble sort, in the last position, the maximum number will be present. Okay. And uh, this array will be the input for the second pass. So now the for the second pass, the input is one four two five eight. Now. As per the technique, we have to compare the first two elements, like one and four. One is greater than four, false. So there is no swap needed. Now next, four and two. Four is greater than two, true. Yes. So we have to swap with two and four. So two was in third position and it came into the second position. Four was in second position and it has come into the third position. Now compare four and five. Four is not greater than five, hence there is no swap needed. And the same thing for five and eight, so no swap is needed. So after the second pass, the output array is one, two, four, five, eight. Okay, here you can see in the given array, the second maximum value is five, which was come into the last but one position, which is nothing but last second position in the second pass. That means we can say in bubble sort, after completion of first pass. The maximum number will be at last position. After completion of second pass, second maximum will be at last second position. Likewise, based on the pass, the maximum number of element will be found out from the last position. And now we can say this array is sorted, but we can stop it here. But the program does not know unless until it has to iterate with all the element. Hence, we go for third pass. This is about programming. Now we'll look at with a sample coding. Yeah. I have gone to Eclipse, so I have created a package called Com Coding Tips, and I have created a one class which names Bubble Sort. Now I have taken the array input array is same example five one four two eight, which we have seen in the slide five one four two eight. Now, so I'll write I'll write a method name bubble sort, which takes this input array as an argument. So create a method. I'm using the Eclipse uh, suggestions. I name it as a input array. First, I have to find out the length. So instead of length, I name it as n. Okay. Now, what we are doing here, we are iterating. We are comparing with each other element and then moving forward. So for that, we are doing like first pass, second pass, third pass. These passes are continued un until the end of the array. So we need one for loop for this element, and we need another for loop 
in order to compare with each other. I have taken the length into the n element. Now first write one for loop which to which is required to iterate over the array. Since we are taking it from 0 we should do it from length minus 1. I would say n minus 1 and we would write another for loop Once I have completed the program, I will explain. In the slide we have seen, in the first pass, we compared with phi and 1. If phi is greater than 1, hence we have shifted it. So now, here I have written two for loops. One for loop is for the pass, each pass. And another for loop is iterating with the elements. Like in order to uh, compare with each other element, phi and 1, and phi is greater than 1, we shifted. Again, phi has to be compared with next element. In order to perform this action, I have written another for loop, which is nothing but j. Now, what we have done in the program is, we compared with first element with the second element. And if, since the first element is greater than the second element, we have swapped it. And at the same time, phi is compared with 4. That means, second element is compared with third element. In order to do this comparison, I have written a of j, this if block. And since if phi is greater than 1, we have swapped it, right? At the same time, in the program, if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1, we have to do the swap. So for that, I am taking one temp variable, which is... So, in that temp variable, I am moving into a of j. Now, a of j, I am assigning a of i. And a of i is 10. What I have done is here, a of j is nothing but 5 and a of j plus 1 is nothing but 1. So, 5 I have moved it to, since 5 is greater than 1, 5 I have moved to temp variable and then temp variable and then a of j plus 1 I have moved to 1 I have moved it to j and in, in the place of 1 I have moved it to 5 that means I have done the swapping with this logic. Now let us see post this for loop let us print the elements. Since I am taking it from 0, I have putting length minus 1. Let us run this program and see the output. You can see the output is 1, 2, 4, 5, 8. So, let us take one pass with a debugging mode.
so now we can see the length is 5 as per the input array now the first pass i am looking at for each element now the i is 0 j of initialized to 0 so a of j is nothing but a of j is nothing but 5 and uh, a of j plus 1 is nothing but 1 j, 0 plus 1 1 so 5 is see. So 5 5 is greater than One five is greater than one, which is true. Now we'll go inside this, and then we'll change the array. Now you can see a one comma five comma four comma two eight one five four two eight, which we have seen in this example one five four two eight. Now, in the first pass itself, we are going for second. After this one, you can see the element is one four five two eight. One four five two eight. I can say 14258, 14258. So the program is comparing each and other element and then rearranging the array in this given manner and just clicking F8 so that output will be printed. Thanks for subscribing this video. We'll come with other sorting techniques in the coming tutorial. Thanks for watching.